Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. And today it's the brand new Spyderco Chaparral Sun and Moon. That's right, it's the Sun and Moon. It's the seventh knife in the Spyderco Chaparral series, one of my favorite series. It's a series of gentlemen folders. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like the yin and yang knife. It's really nice. Sun and moon. White smooth G10 with red G10 inlay. That being the sun. And then on the other side, smooth G10 with genuine mother of pearl inlay. See that right there? And that's the moon, the moon and the sun. Oh, just a really nice knife. Now the Chaparral series is just great. It's one of the series I don't think that gets a lot of credit, but it should. It's Really well done, super thin, perfectly put together gentleman folders from Spydeco. Again, this is the seventh one in the series. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you all the knives in the series. Check out my Instagram, at Keith Kevin Ken. It'll be a closer picture of this knife and, of course, all the other chaparral knives in the series so let's talk about this knife okay all of the chaparrals have the same profile they all have this classic spydeco leaf shape blade they all have the tool steel cts xhp steel They're all full flat ground. Look how thin the stock is. You know, we always talk about full flat ground knives able to slice, and they are. But when they're this thin, they make your work like butter. Again, this is a gentleman's folder. It's part of that series of just wonderful gentleman folders. Look how thin it is. Spydeco, very strong back lock. Here, click in. Oh, man. 2.8 inch blade. Now, remember, we... Measure the blade from the top of uh, the scale to the tip of the blade. The cutting edge is 2.3 inches. It has this full 50-50 choil. Again, that classic spidical look, right? So you have this smaller knife profile, but you can really get in there. Jimping on the blade. I mean, you're not going to build a house with this knife. But you'll be able to do pretty much everything else with it. It feels so great in my hand. It does. So, 2.8 inch blade. You take out that choil. 2.3 inches. The cutting edge. The entire length of this knife is 6.4 inches total and it only weighs 2.5 ounces as you can see it has the wire clip right hand left hand tip up only right hand left hand tip up only all of this series have this wire clip which really helps with this thin profile it's just perfect it's just made for this kind of knife 
Now these scales are something else. Smooth G10, Spyderco does Smooth G10 better than anyone else. The white G10 with a G10 inlay right here. I mean, it's smooth, you don't feel it. But for the sun, they have blue G10 on that white G10. See, there's a pattern on it. See that? See how beautiful those scales are? On the other side, the moon side, smooth black G10, you can see the texture. It is smooth as can be, a little bit more texture than the other side, but still very smooth. If you ever held smooth scales from Spydeco, you know what I mean. They're my best scales, frankly. They're smooth, they look classy, they feel great in hand. Again, this is not a hard working knife. Gentleman's folder. And for the moon, it's genuine mother of pearl inlay. That's the real McCoy right there. Again, you don't feel anything. It's just a smooth transition into that inlay. Very strong back lock. Just like all the chaparrales. Talking about a beautiful design knife in a format that we're very familiar with with the chaparral. This is such a winner. Such a winner. Let me put this against the native so you can see just how small and petite this knife is. Here's the Delica, let's see. Remember, I'm always reaching around a camera and a tripod, that's why I seem a little clumsy. But you can see the profile, right? Small, super thin, with that great CTS XHP steel, full flat ground, oh, what a slicer. <laughs> It is really a nice slicer. And as I've said, this is really the seventh version of this knife, which makes it a very special set. Now, the earlier knives with titanium and Everything super expensive. And then Spydeco started adding to the series with some less expensive knives. For instance, here's an FRN scale version of the knife. Oh, I'm so happy to have that set. I hope Spydeco continues to add to the set. Because let me just tell you something. This knife, the only bad thing about a knife with two face is how you photograph it. Because you got to keep turning it to show everyone, right? <laughs> this is the brand new knife of the day. It's a new chaparral. It's called Sun and Moon. CTS XHP Steel. Beautiful gentleman's folder under three inches, smooth G10, one side, white smooth G10 with a G10 red inlay. That's the sun. On the other side, black smooth G10 with genuine mother of pearl inlay for the moon. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. I have four brand new Spydecos. Well, now I have three left. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other knives I haven't shared with you. Yeah, there are, there's a couple of these knives that I've been anticipating for a very long time. And the sun and moon was one of them. Keep tuned to this channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. 
I hope you guys are staying healthy and well. Thank you very much for watching. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.